Today at the Game House, we'll be analyzing how Chengdu Hunters play Reinhardt on King's Row and how it harkens back to the playstyle of selfless gaming. In the Stage 4 match between Chengdu Hunters and New York Excelsior, the Chengdu Hunters whipped out a Reinhardt composition on King's Row. Chengdu's Reinhardt composition was unconventional to say the least, using a Farah, Widow, Reinhardt, Zarya, Mercy, and Anna. Nevertheless, they managed to dominate the New York Excelsior with it and finished King's Row with a blazing fast time. Throughout Overwatch's history, and especially in recent memory, Reinhardt play has been characterized by relatively aggressive, brawly compositions designed to quickly aggress on the enemy team. From the triple tank meta in the early Overwatch competitive scene to GOATS, Reinhardt is typically seen as a hero that is leading the charge, steadily aggressing into the enemy team with the help of a Zarya bubble and a Lucio speed boost. The pace of the gameplay in a Reinhardt composition is usually dictated primarily by the resources available to your tanks, from their old charge to their shield health and cooldowns. Chengdu's style of Reinhardt play used by Ji Chiren is a very unique one. Instead of being based around Reinhardt taking space and initiating fights, the Chengdu hunters have instead decided to adapt to their DPS-centric play from their other comps and sort of cram it into how they play Reinhardt, with their Rhyme playing a much more passive role in the fight than most teams are used to. The DPS in Chengdu's Reinhardt composition act as the primary initiators instead of the Reinhardt. The most obvious analogy to Chengdu's playstyle in King's Row would be Selfless Gaming. For the uninitiated, Selfless was a powerhouse team in early Overwatch, and many players like Sinatra, Defran, Emong, and Dak made their names on Selfless. Selfless's playstyle was also very unique, primarily based around their strange composition involving a Reinhardt, Roadhog, Soldier 76, Tracer, Lucio, and Ana. Selfless and their composition were the subject of frequent analysis by analysts in the Overwatch scene, including by people like Overwatch League's Sideshow. Because the Selfless composition didn't have a Zarya, the Reinhardt player was less than effective in a straight brawl against the enemy Rhein and Zarya. As such, Selfless would play a very passive style of Reinhardt. They would attempt to prolong fights to allow the higher damage of the Roadhog to whittle away the enemy Rhein shield and possibly secure a pick before a brawl could start. While this would happen, Defran's Soldier 76 and Sinatra's Tracer would secure high ground, spraying down tons of damage from multiple angles. They would use their damage to get picks, and then one of the two DPS or the Roadhog would then pick them again coming back from spawn, allowing them to win fights and take objectives without the enemy team ever fully regrouping. A key aspect of their playstyle was to force enemies to die at separate times, splitting their spawns when the objectives were captured. Once Selfless had an advantage, they would push up. However, Selfless would choose not to have their Reinhardt push up and take space, and instead they would flip the equation. The Reinhardt would just stay on cart and push it alone, or sometimes with an Ana, while all of the DPS would push the enemy spawn door and continue to stagger kills. This often meant that Selfless could skip entire points on payload maps without an actual 6v6 fight breaking out, because when the enemy team would have 3 people respawning, Selfless would send 5 people up to kill them again to prevent a fight from occurring. And while Chengdu Hunter's composition is quite different from Selfless Comp, many of the hallmarks of Selfless's play are echoed in Chengdu's playstyle. Jinmu's Farah and Bacon Jack's Widow both take separate angles, much like Defran and Sinatra. They would split the spawns on objective capture, forcing the enemy team to respawn in separate locations to prevent a 6v6 fight. Then, both of the DPS, Yvetal's Mercy, and Late Young Zarya would all push up to quickly attack the enemy's old spawn door, killing any stragglers just like Selfless. And finally, to no surprise, we have Jichiren's Reinhardt, gleefully pushing the card alone with his Ana as the rest of his team pushes up. And while Selfless Gaming as a team is long gone, the spirit of the team remains, both in the players that are still in the Overwatch scene, and the teams emulating their style. For more of the Game House's Overwatch League content, click the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon. From our house to yours, thanks for watching.